This pukekohe potato field looks like a picture of perfect health, but it's becoming very costly to keep it that way. Last year alone, the psyllid pest cost the industry $28 million. With rising production costs, potato farmers hope consumers won't turn their backs on the starchy staple. If we don't keep on top of it with our spray regime, the housewife got some of those potatoes in her bag. I'd say, well, what's this? I'd rather buy pasta or rice. And it could cost me in the way that she's changed her diet from potatoes to pasta and rice and we won't sell any more potatoes. Chemical warfare has been waged already on the pest, but it's vital to keep the veggies safe to eat. As you've got softer chemicals, they cost a lot of money to produce because of the safety of, of our food. There are several ways the industry could manage the crises, such as producing a predator. But the problem with that predator is that uh, it also might attack the native sellers. Also on the cards is to start developing new varieties of potato that are immune to psyllid. But that brings its own set of problems. It's not easy just to uh, breed a variety that will be resistant but also good to eat. Potato farmers across the country are now forced to learn how to manage the menace. Chrissy Dwyer, Te Wahanui.